WMBD is your local election headquarters. As we quickly approach election day, safety for candidates and voters is a top priority. WMBD's Matt Sheehan spoke with local law enforcement officials and politicians on the increase of security ahead of election day. Matt. Shelby, this all comes first after a violent attack on House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband and then a death threat against gubernatorial candidate Darren Bailey. Now local police are working to ensure your safety when you head to the polls. And many politicians are toning down their rhetoric ahead of Tuesday's election. On the same day House Speaker Nancy Pelosi's husband Paul was violently attacked with a hammer, Illinois candidate for Governor Darren Bailey and his family received a death threat. Bailey responded to the violence-filled voicemail Thursday afternoon, blaming Governor J.B. Pritzker. And, and as a matter of fact, it was a, you know perceived, I believe, one of his ads that this person was watching when he got so angry at me. When asked if he bears any responsibility for the threats against Bailey, Governor J.B. Pritzker pointed to his actions once he learned about the threat. The Illinois State Police did respond and have responded, and so have the CPD. So I'm glad that, you know, once again, that this has been acted upon. But once the pleasantries were over, finger pointing once again rose to the forefront. We have got to unify our people, and I'm not seeing that message. When, when he, someone stands up and calls someone for office a, a threat to democracy, uh, you know, that's what I consider extreme. If you look at uh, Darren Bailey's uh, comments over the last few years uh, against me, calling me a tyrant, calling me all kinds of names, I would say that Darren Bailey is as much responsible for the environment that's been created as Donald Trump. Peoria Police Chief Eric Etavaria tells me there's no local threat to the area and no threats have been made. Both he and Peoria County Sheriff Chris Watkins are working with local election officials to ensure safety at the polls. We have increased security to make sure people are safe when they vote. I spoke with Illinois State Police who tell me they provide security for the governor and his immediate family 24-7. This also stretches out to the lieutenant governor, secretary of state and attorney general.